and welcome back to Sarah's Joyful Journey. I am Sarah Joy and I have an exciting recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. We are going to be making my tea cakes. This was a fun process. I've been working on them diligently over the past couple weeks. If you saw my winning bun video, these are going to be a sweet version of that. They're going to be very versatile. You'll be able to create them in lots of different ways and top them in different ways to be a lot of fun and a useful tea cake for you. So let's get started showing you what the ingredients you're going to need and then we'll put it together. First thing we need to do is set our oven to 325. All right, these are all of our ingredients. For this recipe, we're going to need one and a half cups of water. We're going to need one and a half cups of egg white protein powder. We're going to need half teaspoon of salt. I'm using Redmond's Real Salt. We're gonna need half teaspoon of cream of tartar. We're gonna need half a cup of sweetener. I am using an allulose monk fruit brand. It's by Bestie. It's my favorite one. Let me grab the bag and I'll show you what it looks like. This is the bag that I use and I've had good success with this in this recipe. It has no cooling aftertaste, which is awesome. We're gonna need one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of cake batter extract. We're also gonna need a quarter cup of butter powder and two tablespoons of egg yolk powder. So that's all the ingredients that we're going to need. If you want a copy of the recipe, it will be on my website and it'll be linked down below. Let's get started putting this together. I'm going to be using my KitchenAid mixer. It can be done with a hand mixer. You're just gonna to have to blend it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up my stand mixer. And to the bowl, the first thing that I'm going to add is going to be the cup and a half of egg white powder. I use the Now brand. So that is in there. Then we're going to add our salt. our cream of tartar, and our sweetener. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower this down and lock it, and I'm just gonna turn it on low, and I'm going to mix these all together. And once they are combined, then I'm going to add our extracts, which they are combined. So here is our vanilla extract our cake butter extract. And then we're going to go ahead and add our cup and a half of water. And we're just gonna let it stir until everything is combined. And we're gonna slowly increase our speed. And I say slowly because if you go too fast, you're going to be sloshing this all over your kitchen. At this point, we're going to beat it until stiff peaks form. It should take five to 10 minutes. So I've whipped the eggs whites until they're at a nice stiff peak. They're not really going to fall over. They're staying stuck to your spoon. So that's all good and dandy. All right. At this point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our two tablespoons of yolk powder. And then we're also going to add our quarter cup of butter powder. lower our mixer back down, lock it into place, and then we're just going to stir gently until everything's well combined. I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here and make sure that I'm getting the sides in and that is all getting incorporated. All right, we're gonna 
mix a little bit more. That is probably good. All right, now that our batter is done, we're going to get it into our hamburger bun mold that we used last time. I'll show you what that looks like. So we're gonna add our batter to our molds here. We're just gonna make sure they're nice and smooth. I'm gonna fill all eight of these. I will let you know that one way I know that allulose works in these is because these only bake 15 to 20 minutes. I have been experimenting with the monk fruit allulose blend in some other recipes. And when they bake longer than about 10 minutes, 10, 15, 20 minutes, they start getting too brown. So that's one way to know if your allulose is going to work for you. I have some other recipes I'm working on and it's not working as well to use the allulose, but we'll see. I'm gonna try other techniques and it's my preferred sweetener is to use the allulose monk fruit and I will anytime and every time I can. However, if I'm cooking something that has to bake longer and my trials don't come out, I will have to use erythritol because sometimes I just want the specific dessert as the dessert that it is itself. So, all right, I'm gonna pull this forward a bit so I can easier access the last mold. All right, there's a little bit more in here. We're just gonna kinda scoop it into the other ones. They're all nice and even. And then these are gonna go in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. They usually cook for me about 18 minutes. All right, they're going in the oven. Ooh, they look beautiful. Alright, I have my cooling rack set up and I'm just going to bring over our tea cakes over and I'm going to let them cool for about two or three minutes and then I'm going to take them out of the molds. I have found through experimenting that they do work better on unmolding if we can flip them over. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just gently push through the bottom and the sides of the mold. And it's okay if the bottom comes off. Usually pretty good about getting them all out without using the bottom or losing the bottom. But if you could do not get the bottom off, it's okay. You're still gonna have a generous cake. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these out of the mold and we're gonna let them cool complete. Well, here is our little tea cake. I'm gonna show you one of the ways that I've made it. This is probably my favorite way because it reminds me of strawberry shortcake. This little cake is gonna give you angel cake food vibes, uh, but it's not quite the same thing as an angel food cake. So what I'm gonna go ahead is I'm just gonna go ahead and divide my little cake in half. So you can turn this into two servings if you wish. And then right here, I have three sliced strawberries. We're just gonna lay out our strawberries on each half. So it's about one and a half strawberries on our little cakes. And then you can make your own, but this was BOGO this week, so I did get some of that. 
I'm gonna shake it off camera and then you can just add some whipped cream to your little dessert and you have strawberry shortcakes. The other way I like to do this is I like to spread jam on them and they're really good that way with either whipped cream or buttercream. I'm gonna start working hopefully soon on a chocolate version. Um, so yeah, let's get Matt over to do a taste test. All right, so Sarah made these awesome strawberry shortcakes. I can't wait. It's a childhood dessert of mine. So I'm gonna dig in, give it a good old taste test. Mm. Very good. Oh my gosh. Very much the angel food cake texture and vibe. Those fresh strawberries and some whipped cream. Can't beat it. Beautiful summertime dessert right here. Well, there you have it. A simple and versatile little cake for you. You can be creative with it, have fun. I like to stuff them with jam and a little bit of whipped cream and it makes like a jam cake or even with jam and some uh, sugar-free buttercream is wonderful. You could create an actual little mini cake if you wanted to frost the outside of it. So it's going to be a wonderful and versatile dessert that will allow you to be creative. And I'm super excited to have this recipe in my arsenal because it's one that I know I'm going to go to time and time again. I am going to be working on a chocolate version coming soon. Hopefully maybe next month you will see that sometime in June. But we'll see. I am working on several new desserts and at the moment I need to take a break from all the sweet stuff as I just, I don't even want to taste it at this point anymore. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and this idea. Leave a comment down below if you did, and be sure you hit that thumbs up button to like this video. If you would like to see more content like this and the five, the four other videos I do a week, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification. To find the recipe, you will find it on our website, which will be linked down below as well. I hope you all have a wonderful and joyful evening. Bye for now.